reason why I think players have a chance is probably the performance that we saw Sentinels yesterday against Gen G when Gen G took a bind against Sentinels. And it was their defensive half that was really quite weak, to be honest. They only were able to pick up four rounds of the defensive half. Eight went in favor of Gen G, and then they went on to lose that game quite significantly. It was 13 5 in the end. They just weren't able to get flowing on the attack. They didn't give themselves enough of a chance to do so. I'd like to see them do something a little bit different here, try and be a little bit more solid when it comes to their defense. Uh, they pushed oh, it, they got no. too aggressive in certain areas yesterday, and I, I'd expect them to be a little bit more defensive today. Cage triggered. Well, we'll see now. First blood already going to be out. Never going to be cut off there, so we'll not be able to get involved in the fight. Site has been taken over here by the attacker stays, and look at the way the Panache is going to be trying to tackle this one with a frenzy and a few blast packs as well. A lot of weakened players as Dapper's going to get right back into the conversation and a flawless, not only on the screen, but just in general defensive hold here for Sentinel. Yeah, and that's something that they weren't able to do against Gen G. They didn't win that pistol round, which isn't really like Sentinels. They are often a team that find so much success, success with their pistols because they have that ability and that chemistry where they know how to bait and switch. They know when they need to be peeking together. But actually, with Shazam just getting that opening pick and getting all that information on B-Long there, absolutely huge for Sentinels because then he was able to back off, wait for the rest of the squad to rotate, and then they could ensure that site was going to be comfortably defended. For FaZe, this round... Usually going to be a throwaway round, but you saw the money for Sentinels there and what they opted to go for. A lot of ghosts, no more not too much there. in terms of buying up, in terms of SMGs, etc. Yeah, they'll go ahead and uh, manage a, a decent amount of their economy, recognizing that they will, for the most part, be dealing with classics for phase. Uh, and you don't really want to try and spend on this one, maybe uh, one or two on the utility front, but nothing else gonna really just rely on a group up and then a straight up attack but all oh, the slow comes in the slow and then the molly to boot that right there is a thing of beauty talk about the symmetry and the timing that they had very well timed by the stage and the brimstone sick of course gonna be playing that role for his team and marv yesterday was just unreal support is there too to back each other up Last player left alive was Raucous. That's a 4K for Sick. And that all just started with the slow orb into the molly, preventing them from being able to get inside of that A short. Yeah, pretty disgusting, really. And now it means they can get uh, a more comfortable buy than you see in round three, whereas for FaZe, of course, they are going to be out of money if they do not win this round. And I think the fact that Sentinel saw that in round one, FaZe didn't pick up many kills whatsoever. It meant that they were just going to be on those classic pistols, so it meant they could manage their economy a little bit more successfully. Yep. Now going into round three, this is a really... where we need to see FaZe pick things up. The A push was a little bit too predictable. The B push was a little bit too predictable as well. I'd like to see them come up with something a little bit more strategic, go for some sort of split, perhaps. At the moment, it looks like they are lining up for a, a kind of a B split, sending two down long, two towards Hooker. And the Brimstone just kind of checking out to make sure no one's getting aggressive towards A. Yeah, Marv going to be playing flank duty for phase in case they decide to go for the transition. If they do manage to yank away a few orbs here, maybe a wall, that would be job well done for phase. A drone through TP just to kind of get more intel, but it does not happen. So wall has been played, really giving them the only option of the A site, which will now be up to Marv and Sinatra, or sorry, Marvin and Corey, I believe, to try and handle this. One, but sick from a distance in that corner. Little sneaky catches the lurker, Molly. Baby Bay. And now that means that they're going to be going into the fight. Man down. Still no kills are going to be available to them. Zoms in the nick of time does manage to take out the boom bot. Now here comes the push. Zoms doesn't really have an option. He has to bail from the lambs. Watch out, though, for those paint shells, though. Could do a sizable amount of damage. They do manage to dodge that. Zoms inside of lamps. Corey's just kind of managing this one. And a good, good challenge there for Corey. But Sinatra's still going to be involved in the fight, though. A few seconds remaining. Zachary just had to bail from that battle and go and put down this spike on the opposite side. Oh, he actually does not go for the plant. He's just going to be charged completely. He didn't quite know where those paint shells were going to land. And at that point, they had delayed him enough Gaskin. And that allows him to get three here. Very well done by uh, Sentinels. 
Delayed being the key word throughout the entire round, really. Sentinel's just doing incredibly well to use their utility to back phase off consistently, no matter where they were on the site. It didn't matter if it was smokes, whether it was Molotov, Cypher Traps, there was something in the way for phase that made them hesitate consistently throughout the round. There was no commitment to either site until it was just a little bit too late. Everything becomes very rushed when there's only 30 seconds left. The comms are going to be a little bit more panicked. Everyone's going to be looking in various different angles. You don't have as much time to check those little nooks and crannies. Now it means Sentinels will take a 3-0 lead. They'll reset the economy from phase. And Sick is just constantly getting this ultimate orb. And that is something that Sentinels do very well, Golden Boy, is they manage the ultimate Shot orbs done. so successfully that they Shot really done. just dominate the leaderboard when it comes to actually having those ults ready. Yeah, and in that last round, they used res, but that was also to just allow them to be able to continue to maintain their economy in a very strong fashion. So with them getting more ult orbs and denying Corey from getting that, which if there's one person that needs that the most, it's going to be Raze. And a new change came where Raze's showstopper ultimate ability, the rocket launcher that everyone loves so much, is now going to be seven pips instead of six as it was previously. So you you need that uh you need those orbs to kind of get yourself back into the game. That showstopper could be a difference maker uh for them. And while this round is Spike gonna be throw. more of a throwaway in this case, because they will be walking around mostly with sheriffs and pistols, uh anything that they could Take get flight. out of this round four would be significant for FaZe. But they simply won't have that option right now. And that just starts at the beginning of the round. And all this stalled. They have 26 seconds to work with Gaskin and time is ticking. They are going to be able to get the plant down at the very least and get into some post-plant positions because they had done well to bait the sentinels all the way around to that B site. But now the rotation comes through and the retake will commence for the Sentinel boys. And it should be a comfortable one just because of the weapons that they have. The boombot comes out, does enough damage, and also it gives the information and Zombs will follow through and get two. And now the retake is just a formality at this point. Get the defuse. Unfortunately for Marv, he cannot get any sort of kills to damage the economy of Sentinels. 4-0 then. I think the biggest takeaway from, like, Sick using his wall in showers just to get that ultimate orb. I mean, he's doing it for the majority of rounds, but he's also doing it in rounds where he's comfortable to do so. It was a pistol round. It was an eco round for phase. Yeah. He doesn't need that wall really on short to protect any sort of aggressive push. So instead, just guarantee that orb. And instead, Shazam was able to watch short with his op and get the early pick. Even this Boombot retake on Lamps was expertly done too. Save the Boombot for when you want to get back in there. It's another thing that players would just have to handle yeah. and pull the crosshair away. And with three players charging inside of Lamps like that, there was just no possible angle that they could maintain in order for them to try and hold that area down. Now Shazam with this op inside of Showers. And yet again, right, it's just... A mix-up on the defensive front. Sick, who played this last round, and you were right. You know, he plays the wall. It's a pistol round. He can go and grab the orb. One step closer to another res for him and his team. That's always going to be a plus. But then, for that round, you take Shazam over there with the op. And now, like, Corey just doesn't really get much work done there. Uh, or whoever was going to be lingering about, like, doesn't get any work done. No utility taken away. Boombot has been removed. And this is an interesting one, too. So they wall it and then bail. Sick may be thinking that they could be looking for A, but little do they know they're still going to be just stumbling around this B site, waiting for the perfect opportunity to go in for the push. Yeah, it looks like they're still going to commit to B here, and Satchels will, of course, be the biggest demonstration of that, and Showstopper being popped as they put out of Hookah now. Can you actually connect with it, though? Always very difficult when you're checking various different angles. Marv gets the opener, and the Rocket Marv. Fuse will dissipate, and instead we'll just have to plant this spike. But they have been able to achieve B site here, it's going to be a retake for Sentinel. No one was going to be looking at that doorway. Rock is still watching a flank. Dapper wins that fight and certainly will win those most of the time. Dapper, a headshot through that, and the retake is just so flawless. Zachary, no options on the outside by Garden. And Sentinels, as easy as one, two, three. They go in there step by step, dismantle phase. That's five in a row. The defense on Bind is looking exquisite so far, Gaston. 
Yeah, very different to what we saw yesterday. And I think that my biggest takeaways from Sentinels as a team right now is they are very good at being unpredictable in defense. They will switch up which agents are on which sites to try and make it more difficult for the opposing team to try and predict who is going to be where. You, you tend to try and avoid ciphers, you try and avoid sages because of slows, because of traps. But if they're changing every site, that's going to make you second guess yourself when you're trying to coordinate those pushes and when you're trying to decide which sites you want to attack. So Sentinels just playing these mind games by consistently moving around the agents is really something uh, it's, it's a really pleasure to idea. see to be honest because it's it's difficult to do so because you have to be confident on both sides when defending if you are going to be swapping so much and then when you've got also shazam moving around with the op like that's so difficult for phase to even remotely try and decide which site they want to push what a great camera here for dapper too he's getting just loads of vision now could be a potential sneaky wall here Oh, I'm going to like this. And how this is going to impact Sinatra. Who will get over that hump and look straight across to... Here. Okay, I think they're going to go for it now. The, wall, the, the smoke has come through. Now they're going to have vision over them. This is just great use of that sage utility. No one's going to anticipate it. They knew that the smoke was going to be there because it always ends up happening. Sinatra gets two. Sick and Dapper are going to secure themselves some kills, leaving Corey, who is doing some business over on the opposite side of the map, all by his lonesome. It, it was a, just a predictable play. You always play the smoke at elbow. So how do you counter that? You go over the smoke with a sage wall. That's where we've got to this stage now in Valorant where you know where the default smokes are going to be, right? You know the standard pushes that are going to be available to a team who only is going to be on an eco round. When they've only got pistols, what is the normal kind of things, the, the tendencies that you're going to see from the opposing team? And even though Sentinels might not know FaZe as well as FaZe know Sentinels, of course, we know those normal strategies that are there and available. So a good prediction from them. Three members of FaZe still without a kill at the moment. This is a rough first game for them. Sentinels really taking command. And another thing that I think they're doing so successfully is they, they know when to hold them, know when to fold them at the moment. When they're on a site and there's only one or two people and they hear footsteps, if they don't get an early pick, they retreat off that site ever so slightly and they wait for the rest of the team and then they all retake together. Great teamwork at the moment from Sentinels and they are really showing up today. What you guys are witnessing right now is a team that, and I've said this phrase a million times, you're gonna get sick of it, but it is so true, is a team that has been in the lab, putting in the work, perfecting their strategies, defense and offense, versus a team that right now, they're still trying to figure it out. It's clear that, and we knew this going into this match, that Sentinels were always gonna have a difficult, or excuse wrong. me, FaZe was always gonna have a difficult time. So the play right here even can be a bit telegraphed because with the drone being here, I would expect potentially a Hunter's Fury to come out if out Rockus charges. wants to try and deny them by the, yeah, so he's gonna play that shock guard. Dapper puts it forward. Rockus is still gonna be alive. Perhaps it will be used. There goes the orbital strike though. Now the Hunter's Strike is gonna be played at that moment in time on the opposite side. Sinatra does not get tagged up on it, but finally Rockus will find the mark. Now, though, through all of that, they are beaten up. Rockus has 10 HP, and oh, would you look at that? A Hunter's Fury on the other side. Dom's just there to receive Baby Bay. Last player left alive. It's going to be a 10 HP Rockus. No spike planted. 14 seconds and counting remaining. Just got tagged by the location dart. So, really, the only plausible thing he could do is play spike and get the extra cash for it. Can't even do that because Sentinels deny it. 7-0. Sentinels are unstoppable. That was a little bit more promising from FaZe, but it's the fallback plans that Sentinels always have. Like, they had an abundance of ultimates to go back on, and they utilized, of course, the Hunter's Fury at the right time just to ensure they were able to pick off the pieces right at the end of that round. But strategy is all there for Sentinels at the moment, I'm afraid. It's going to be very difficult, I think, for FaZe to get a decent amount of rounds here, especially now we look yeah. at the, the ultimate still available for Sentinels. So, like, they're very influential ones. The, the Orbital Strike can win a round. The, the Showstopper can win a round. And, I mean, Neural Theft, they might not even need it because their knowledge and their information they've been gathering each round has just been so successful that, realistically, Neural Theft isn't going to help them too much. But of they course, the are the Neural huge. Theft, Dan. They, they just they constantly... Are the it's like they, they always have it up. My. 
Right. That has to be just uh, aggravating to play against if you're FaZe. But it's not something that I'm sure that they were, you know, all that surprised by. Sentinels, this has been their, their month, right? Just like TSM were dominant last month. Uh, this has been Sentinel's time to shine here. Lots of good work has been done now, but the stack, the this is gonna hurt so much. They have no choice but to push forward. Zom's is gonna just nuke Marv. Baby Bay, Baby Bay does manage to pick up a kill there, Silence. but in the distance, it's gonna be Shazam inside of the cubby. Tag for 73, needs to be careful now. Exactly but more kills are. are starting to come through, and Dapper's just gonna go ahead and use that Neural Theft just to give him a little bit more intel as to where this final player is gonna be located. He's in the showers. And Sinatra gives Corey a bath, father and son. I mean, you know me, I often will criticize teams, right? I, I, I tend to find the negatives and I look for what's going wrong for a team. It's difficult to do that for Sentinels right now because there is almost nothing going wrong. If I had to be nitpicky, I'd say you didn't really need to use Orbital Strike and Neural Theft that round. Yeah, Shazam, you're missing it. too many recon darts. Like maybe... That's about <laughs> it, if I'm honest, yeah. GB. Like they are playing so good right now and... It, maybe this is a case of FaZe just not really being able to match them because they don't have the experience as a five yet. There are uh, various different things that come into play when we talk about this, but realistically, we still have to appreciate how well Sentinels are playing right now as Shazam gets the opener onto Marv, but he also had the support there, GB. If he didn't yeah. get that kill, there was someone there to trade, and that's something Sentinels consistently do well. But, and I will commend FaZe for this though, there was someone there to attempt to trade. Now things are starting to look up a bit for FaZe and getting one round win would be really big for this team, especially for the morale, because things have just not been going well for them so far. In a 4v3 now, Rez was used. Let's see, they have no ultimates for Sentinels and Corey still has that showstopper. They do identify where he's going to be. They'll probably make this push happen, but Shazam waiting outside of a lamps. Fire in the hole, played, missed, and whiffed. Zomzo picks up a kill. Shazam's now just going to be stuck here inside of lamps while Dapper's on the flank. And Dapper is going to see that spike in a moment. Rockets is aware of this, which is why he's... Oh, he saw so the tail. He saw the cape. He saw the cape of Sova. Now it will be a 1v1. Corey versus Dapper, two great players here contending against one another, but Dapper just held on to the angle. Corey poked out, did not have the gun out in time. Dapper still held on to that, expecting either that he can push forward if he does in fact not poke. There was just a lot of mental gymnastics that were happening there for Dapper that he had to evaluate as that one moment in time was happening because if he doesn't, if he holds the angle, gets the kill, they win. Great. Or if he doesn't poke, then that means he went further into lamps and he's just trying to bail from the fight. So in which case, Dapper actually can go past here if he wanted to. But he was already far committed at that point. Either way, Dapper played that so well, waiting it out at the opportune moment. To be honest, that round almost went to pot and it was almost because of the ultimate usage in the previous round. Like, Zom's using that orbital strike and not having it available to counter the res that came out from FaZe almost meant that they were a man down. Thankfully, there is always a member of Sentinels that is going to step up. Shazam hitting some big shots with the op, and then of course Dapper coming in with the clutch. There is always someone on Sentinels. I think that is what is scary about this roster. Any member of oh, this boy. five can step up. They've got lots of information. FaZe are on another eco round. Oh, Showstopper is there. Oh, and this is just matchmaking at this point. I'm going to be completely honest. It doesn't matter what they do at this point, Sentinels. They are just having fun. You can see that with how they went for the res in the last round as well. It was a risky res. They didn't really need to go for it. They're just wanting to get this game over with, if I'm completely honest, GB. Yeah, it could very well be a sweep on Bind. And this was the map, as we had mentioned before, that FaZe desperately needed to win because their next two games are going to be on Ascent and then Split. Perhaps, though, people have been underestimating what FaZe are capable of doing on Ascent. But even with the results of the previous maps, I mean, just looking at this game altogether, it's apparent that Sentinels are just on another level and also is a testament to how fast North American Valorant has been improving, right? Because yeah. there are a lot of teams that can actually go up against Sentinels and compete, right? Like Immortals, Shinji. These are great squads. And even they are struggling against the likes of Sentinels. So how can FaZe, a roster that's just been put together, 
that needs to find their chemistry and 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 what that what that will be like what do they end up doing there look at this though two ops on the side of oh, phase boy. attacking trying to match maybe the ops and zachary has got a pick and his first kill of the game may i add in round 11. unfortunately for him that kill is instantly revived sick been saving that ultimate for a couple of rounds after he wasn't able to successfully use it and we're back to five versus five and no ults across the board so this is going to be purely a gun round however sinatra looks like he might be stuck in this teleport for quite some time yeah with an op, which they know is going to be in there. And Sinatra is going for some pretty nutty shots. If there was like a world where he does go for the shot through here and hits it, I would lose my... Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, you see that it's yeah. there. And obviously they don't see the x-rays, but you know that, that if, he, if he had just pulled the trigger then, you'd Your be sound so mad if you were it. You'd be, that... you'd be so, so mad. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no! Oh, baby, baby! <laughs> <laughs> he has no respect. He went inside of that TP room. They knew that he was still going to be stuck inside of there, so it was only just a matter of time before someone jumped in the fray. Unfortunately, though, while that took place, it's Shazam and Zom were easily going to be able to handle two more members of FaZe. Huntress Fury just to hold them back for a moment. Baby Bay looked to poke inside of Bath. Ended up not working out in his favor, but Marv, you can always rely on him for at least one kill. Dapper, oh. though, you can rely on him for three. 11-0 for Sentinel so far. I mean, I, I just feel bad that this is on the FaZe channel, if I'm going to be completely honest. Like, this, this, this shouldn't be happening. This is unfair viewing. 11-0, and uh, I think that Sentinels are maybe close to a 13-0 really here. This is going to be a weak buy going into the 12th. Yeah. I mean, I think FaZe knew and we knew, Sentinels knew that these two teams at the moment are quite far apart in terms of practice regimes, in terms of what they've been able to accomplish so far, in terms of playing together chemistry that they've been able to build. So I'm not going to harp on about FaZe playing badly because I don't think FaZe are playing particularly badly. I just think Sentinels are playing absolutely incredibly. Yeah. They are statistically and without question better team. Now that was a wall that exists in space and time. I don't understand why that was a thing. What the? Um, was it because the Cypher Trap was there? I don't know. Either way, that was weird. Oh, you know, it could be because of the Cypher Trap. Huh. As a Sage guess, player, yeah. that concerns me. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marv is going to be pinned. Good effort there, though. By Zachary to watch his teammates destroy. back. Marv took the shot. Dapper, though, down to 62 HP. b Sight will have more support, but they do have a few angles. So Dapper now gets the heals, and Corey, as he pushes outside, made a whole heap load of noise. Zachary alone, helpless, and winless in the first half. 12-0 match point now. The first attack round for FaZe, or for Sentinels, apologies, could very well be the last here on Bind. Yeah, but imagine if there was a comeback, all right? Because you know what I say, if FaZe win the pistol here, Alex... Dan, are you doing? Are you doing it? Are you doing it? <laughs> the possibilities it? are endless. Like they could win twelve on the bounce. All right, it's not gonna happen. Okay, it's not gonna happen. But it, it, you know what, man? They they could win this round though. Uh, they will uh, get. Look, you you at this point now, you're not. You're just trying to get a win on the board. That's it. Yeah. Because right there, that's booty slapping. That's what that is. You you just you just getting booty slapped. And and it and it's it's rough. Uh, and you know, FaZe knew that this was a, a very realistic possibility. Uh, but at this point in time, just get one on the board. Look how Sentinels are approaching this pistol round as well, though. Like, they're not approaching this like it's 12 and 0. They're approaching this like it was 6 and 6. Because they they're, want a 13 and 0. That's they're why. being patient. They're playing at default. They're waiting just to see in case FaZe do anything a little bit fishy. And now they're all going to group up, and I imagine they're going to go towards A. They do tend towards yeah. to go towards A on their pistol rounds. They just have more comfort and more success there. One going to be coming from bathrooms, and the rest are going to be short. They're spotted out now, so they need to go soon. Maybe they will get blocked off here potentially there, but Sinatra with the frenzy, he's always going to have that. Rockets, though, meets him inside of lamps. One player is going to be backed away inside of the bench, which they did manage to see at that moment. Spike is going down. I planted the spike. 
So Dapper with that spike down and Zom's getting the kill. Maybe though, Marv is gonna bring this one back up to even. Dapper has the angle over here by the L box. Just run again. No one's still gonna be paying attention to him here. Dapper just dancing around this and who's gonna stop Dapper? And even if Zachary manages to stop Dapper, he still has to worry about Sick. Sick is gonna be very weak though. Zachary does manage to get the kill. One player remaining is gonna be Sick. He slows him down and he's gonna wall him off. Oh, the Giga Chad. He goes in front of the fuse. Oh man. Oh baby. This could be the round when he was pro so fake. Pro so fake. Oh, but he lets go. For a moment, he lets go. He has it halfway. He finally gets it. Oh my goodness. Does he manage to get the defuse? Yes, he does. And FaZe have put a round on the board. Victory. Finally, something to scream and shout about with your FaZe fans. All right. A round on the board. It's a pistol round, which usually means round number two is coming very shortly. And maybe this could be the start of the dream comeback. Who knows? But realistically, Sentinels eventually should be able to break through and get a uh, an attack point on the board. But, I mean, if you want to take away from their game against Gen.G, they were only able to get one round on the board on their attacking half before Gen.G were able to close things out with five on their own defending half. But, unfortunately for FaZe in this situation, one round would be enough for Sentinel to close out this game. When you look at the statistics, I mean, it's been comfortable for the entirety of Sentinel. They've all had their fair share of kills. They've all... They, they all look on fire, to be honest. None of them look cold whatsoever, GB, which is pretty scary, to be honest. Yeah. You, you want to catch Sentinels when they're maybe a little bit cold, and maybe that's what happened yesterday when Genji went up against them. Like, they, they weren't looking too hot on Bind. It seems like they've learned a lesson, Sentinels. They, they lost that map on Bind. They've gone in. They've done their research. They've completely changed their attitude, and now they're 12-1 up here. Still not safe, though. Just trade it out. Both brimstones are going to be down, baby. Bay, there you go. Headshot on sick. Sinatra nades that out in the corner. Does not quite get the kill. As baby Bay waits for him to push. Dapper is very weak. Sinatra inside of the lamps. Dapper finally is going to get cleaned up, leaving Sinatra just to be the last man standing here. 34 HP with the spike. Could actually get this thing down if he decided to go over toward B. He might go showers here. Just play the the rotate game, make them think that he's going all the way around to B. But to be honest, if FaZe are clever, they will just keep at least one person at A and one at B. At the moment, they're stacking towards A and just staying together. No time left. Let's <gasps> find one. <gasps> no way. No way. No way. He's got to plant it, and he gets the plant off at that exact moment. <laughs> and then Corey's like, oh, got to come back. Oh. They do stop it, but just the uh, the discipline there from Sinatra not to go for that shot. Corey backing away. Didn't expect the showers push. This goes to show you, you never know what you're going to get, man. It is that Valorant timing. I think if he'd had a rifle, he probably goes for the shot there because it's a guaranteed yes. kill. But with the yeah. ghost or with an SMG, there's the chance that you whiff a little bit and then the other person spots you out. Guarantee the plant, get the extra 300 credits. And now FaZe can get a full buy here and we can see what... Uh, sorry, now Sentinels right can get a full buy here and now we can see what they have to offer on their attacking side. Whereas FaZe are going to have a couple of weak weapons, two Bulldogs. Okay, so three rifles, just, just the two Bulldogs, slightly weaker. Of course, they are going to be buying up a little bit more heavily every single round anyway because they have nothing to lose at this point. Have to commit all their money and all their resources. But they would like to keep some back because I imagine they would like to at least have the possibility of getting an op in the next round if they were to win this one, GB, because an op might be the key to success with picking up a string of rounds and at least making this game look like it was an actual game of Valorant and not an absolute drubbing. So the two Bulldogs are going to be by A site. And no one's really gone over there right now. Dapper and them did get a few looks on B. They'll go ahead and back away from this one. The smoke out might allow Marv to reposition over or actually push out, which now that the shots have been exchanged, Marv oh, is just going to wait this thing out. Oh, oh, nicely done there. He heard the camera and he had the coverage of the smoke, so he was good to just continue to push that. And with where that camera was positioned, that was just a great audio cue there for Marv to take advantage of. 
Dom's did his best to attempt to get out of the bath there, but Shazam now secures himself two kills. So you got a player by L-Box, and another one is going to be back by U-Haul. They're going to hightail it out of there, make their way over to the B-Site, get that plant down. And they're going to give it over to the Sage. Shazam will stay up top here, and part of the reason why they gave it to the Sage probably has to deal with either A, the utility, or B, the health, which, no, it seems like it's going to be more of a health thing. And also getting him closer to that resurrection in case things go a little awry here. But Sick now is going to be called out. Great angle from Shazam, but Marv was going to be there just a little bit quicker. Sick with one. And then he's not going to be able to get himself the final two kills, despite the fact that they were going to have some weak players there. It will be phased with their third round left. They're continuing this fight. They're holding on by just their dear life here. Skin of their teeth, to be honest. I'm surprised that Shazam actually peaked that one. I, I thought that maybe he would have just waited in hookah and, and, and made them sweat a little bit, phase. Make them push onto the site, make at least them tap the bomb before you actually peek out. But I guess instead he wanted to get ahead of the game. If he could have got that first pick and made it a 2v2, then that was more than a winnable round. But yeah. now, Phase will reset the money from Sentinels ever so slightly, but because Sentinels did so well with their economy management, they can half buy here. Three half armors and a bull bulldog to work with. Sentinels just wanting to get this game over and done with. Oh no. Oh, and the, you can't actually take out that showstopper too quick now, like you could before. A few shock darts were going to be sent out there to try and push back that player, maybe force him inside of the teleporter if need be. I don't know if they know that guy is still going to be there. So Rockus waits this one out. Well done there. And Rockus has actually been playing pretty solid today, uh, or I should say in this half. One of the things I did want to commend him for was how they double peaked in that last round. But Rockus was going to be the one to take that fight first because he knew his teammate was weaker, which was a thing we were criticizing them for yesterday, Gaskin. So it's clear that phase, they've had that conversation about how they need to handle these peaks. They found my wire. And thus, that means that, you know, they're, they're playing a little bit more disciplined here. But Dapper in a 1v2, if a player can clutch it, it is this man. He has enough health to do it. Is he going to go all the way around through to Hookah here? This is a big risk because if anyone taps this bomb, he is not going to be able to stop it. Knife out just so he can be as quick as possible. Hoping that no one on the side of phase is going to tap it just yet. It is wide in the open. The tap is going to come through any second Ooh, now. There it is. Left. The tap comes through, though, so he knows that no one is on the spike right now. And he is in such a good position. He can oh, stop no. that one. But in the 1v1. Cypher versus big. Cypher. Baby Bay. He knows where he is. And Baby Bay will get the frag and phase. This make it 12-4. Almost clutching up there. I love that play. And the fact he had the camera on site and the tag was just able to deny getting yeah. it halfway. Clever round, but still another round on the board for phase. They make it 12-4. And dare we start to dream, GB. <laughs> well... That play as well, I, I feel like Zachary should have committed to just sticking the defuse and getting it up to halfway, uh, just in tagged. case. Yeah. E e even though, yeah, you know, because they cleared the site there. Well, I mean, they didn't, I guess, elbow no. still, because they were looking at uh, Garden, which, you know, Garden and Elbow would normally be where that player holds. So, yeah, I guess I, I, I kind of understand their, their logic behind it. Uh, rather have two guns rather than no that one way. person just Hold stuck on. in the defuse plate uh, state, I should say, rather. Uh, but now, though, Rockus is going to initiate this battle, and a call-out was made that someone was going to be located inside of Baths. He does manage to get the kill against Sage. No revive in this round. Orbital Strike and Hunter's Fury still going to be here for Sentinels if they elect to use it. Rockus oh. is going to die. Sinatra hits him with, with a, a stinger. stinger. That was from the burst of a stinger. Let's relax there, Sinatra. I did mention earlier to Moses, I just said that Sentinels are very good on these kind of thrifty eco rounds. But I don't think they're going to be able to achieve anything with just three of them now. And especially with the positioning from FaZe, Corian just in the Enemy best down. place to stop any sort of push towards B here. And there's going to be a fifth round on the board for FaZe. And now Sentinels will have money to buy up in the next. Of course, Zons is going to try and do as much damage to the economy as possible. Just with this Sheriff, won't find the first, though. Zachary gets the frag. And I don't think Sentinels will be sweating just yet, if I'm completely honest, Alex. 
five rounds in a row for phase sure it's looking good and and this yeah. looks like a much more healthy scoreline now and people go back and they look at the statistics and they look at the results and even if this ends 13 five you go okay well they showed up and they, they had a little bit of a game. You, you, then you look at the oh, first half and you're like, oh my goodness, what happened? <laughs> well, that's on what I'm saying. Like, if, if you're on VLR looking at the stats and, you, and you're just like, uh, okay, uh, there was a, was that 12? Okay, 12 rounds. Um, five in a row? Okay, uh, this is weird. <laughs> just, I'm just thinking about that, that, that you know, uh, stat line there is just odd. But anyway. Cage triggered. Now with some real guns available. See what they could do. Shazam does manage to get the tag there. Zachary cannot get out of there in time. Was located. And will be punished. And the res is gone for phase. Man advantage for Sentinels. Eventually, though, they will be making their way over to just get some heals. Brimstone is going to be a little low. So thankfully, Zoms was there in time. And no one had pushed, tried to play an advantage, and they really don't have a choice. They can't do anything here. Without the slows and the and, and any kind of stall from Zachary, it's going to make this fight that Corey is going to go in very dangerous. Also, the showstopper, he needs to get this out faster. He does manage to do so. He will die. He could not back away in time. Zoms kills Corey, but Corey did manage to stop Sinatra. So that something you have to be quite happy about but unfortunately though now the tables have turned as the ults had to come in favor of this squad of phase it was going to be sentinels that wrapped things up 13 to 5 phase did make this a respectable finish and if you dive deeper